Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the second video of Tuesday. This one is all about the side quest. So I don't know if you're like myself uh, that hasn't at the point of getting this video recorded. Uh, I've, I've got 18 more runs to do in the current side quest. Now look, here's the thing. Um, there's a lot of difference of opinion as to like, is this event, this side event being good, fun uh, and all of the... Uh, above it was really interesting because i reached the point where there's a lot of things i wanted to achieve this month which uh, well S september really and then going into october there's a hell of a lot more i've got to achieve whether it's getting a certain volume of units so i can get uh cyber weekend deals and of course you need units if you don't spend in the game you've got to grind that out for free which you know i've got to do uh, a lot more of in a very short space of time got to do with battlegrounds because there's a certain amount of points i've got to contribute to uh, my alliance and uh, i have got a very limited time for it incursions have reset but i did incursions a little while ago event quest look th there's always something to do in mcoc and if you've got the time for it you can do a lot more but if you don't have the time if you kind of very specific time then it's always very difficult you know working through the day as i do and then in the evening making video content and then trying to make sure that i'm up to date and grinding with the mcc there's very little time that i can't well I, there's always like i need to I need to use my time as much as and as effectively as possible but it's to the point uh, what is the point of this well i saw this really interesting thread two threads actually um all about this particular side quest and how it mainly hasn't um it's felt very grindy as uh chovna says uh, it wasn't engaging it wasn't fun i was uh it, it was annoying uh, repetitive and boring uh, and that's the thing a lot of people aren't kind of saying like you know they're so angry that they they're, they're quit here. it's just a case of they found it repetitive they found it boring and it does divide opinion especially this month it was interesting because there is and was a poll, this one, and while I'm making this video, which is on Monday night, because, you know, Monday night at 11pm and I need to be in bed shortly because I've got work in the morning. Um, so look, like, this is interesting, especially because it's like, so how many pe how many people did all the side quests? And it's like, as this, this vote is live, I'll put a link to the description if you want to kind of like check it out. Um, it is very much case it's down the middle. I'll just be freshen it because I wanted to kind of like get more of like a, a fresher kind of like um, thing of it. I do plan to 100% it, but it was interesting to note uh, based on, um, you know, this particular poll. So after the side quest, uh, another really bad design, in my opinion. I actually think it is, isn't great. It isn't like a decent design. It's just a case of it. I think it's just been a filler one, especially as they get ready for like, and it's, an, it's weird as well to see like, Another player saying, too annoying and too boring. I don't know the real reason to make side quests like this one because we had already a few in a row which were just re repeats of the same quest every day and it's already annoying to have a deal with day. I think, if I'm being honest, I think that this is a very good point and I think that Kaban would be best off going away from these kind of daily entries. Not in a case of, I'm not, and I'm not saying that in a negative way to say like, oh, you know, we had enough there. Blah, 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 blah. It's just a case of like the game's moved on. Like, the metas have changed. The ideas need to be fresher. In this year, we've had two... Actually, no, maybe we've had three fresh side quest ideas, which, great, kabam, do more fresh ideas. But it's when you go back to these kind of older ideas. Some stuff works, some stuff doesn't. Sometimes when these come back, they've been refined and better. If so, fact so, Rifts. Rifts came back and have been better. Were riffs last month or the month before? I can't remember. Um, but they were they were better. They were more efficient. People were positive about riffs, which they haven't been since the day that they were put in for the very first time. So that's mentioning that. Yeah, the riff side. I remember the the riffs were actually quite good, and I think as well as well rewarded. I'm not to say this wasn't. It's just a case of like, it just feels like too much like the old type metas, and that's how I see. It. I see it's like it's. It reminds me too much of the old and not of the new. Now, next month's different because, or next update's different. Tomorrow's different. It's, and that's the return back of one of my favourites. Well, it's not exactly, but it'd be the cosmic horror type quest uh, setup, quite possibly. Well, I hope it is. It's going to be like that. But um, I've been stung before where I've hoped for something to return back in the way that I liked, and it hasn't come back the way that I liked. Same way that you could say, like, 
Oh, you know, gold. Those gold um, offers. They came back, didn't they? Yeah. As part of an event where you had to spend in order to get further. Or have certain very rare and unusual circumstances to get further. Um, you know, we, we, we talked about on the channel to death with the Caps Commissary. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to um, the return of the use of the Summon Symbiote. It's been returning back since two years in the making for the Summon Symbiote to be uh, have an event like Cosmic Horror. So that's good. I think the last year's one, 2022, was the spot one with the candies, which had a... was that Riffs as well? That might have been Riffs. There's certain side quests which hold up and work well. And look, here's the thing. There will be people going, do you know what, Rich? I actually quite like the side quest, and that's great. I think that's fantastic. If you like the side quest, like it is like that, then, you know, fine. You know, it's, it's all good. And of course, like, you know, the community, it's important to, to, to kind of read the room when it comes to uh, the court of, of uh, MCC community uh, opinion. As, uh, you know, people are saying it was bored, repeating these fights again and again. It felt like stuck in eternity. There have been worse, but I won't miss this one at all. In the last two weeks, I hated seeing those keys in my inventory. Fair play. You think that was tough? I did it for two accounts and my thumb couldn't dex no more after I did that last 26 runs in a row. I had to do it between AQ cooldown and period, uh, AQ period, down period and uh, weekend. Um, yeah, boring is, uh, is, is tough to me. Sorry about that, mate. I did read the post, but must have lost track of anyone, anyway, whatever that was about. I spent a couple hours doing it yesterday for utterly exhausted and still have 16 left. I think, though, I might let those 16 um, expire. Oh, okay, there you go. Um, yeah. I mean, look, okay. There's the other point of saying if you did it every couple of days throughout the month, then it wouldn't be significantly easier. It would be significantly easier to manage by banking on the keys and then doing all the runs at once. Of course, it would be boring. What's well, time really? Like, who wants to, a lot of the time? There's a lot of stuff to do in game between battlegrounds, arena, whatever you do in game. So it is very easy to kind of like have this event just kind of slip your mind. Like it really would slip your mind, slip my mind whilst I was on vacation. Um, and you know, I was having a slight vacation away from the game. I have to make a decision about what is best for me to grind and pick up. And unfortunately, the time was not best suited to do event quests. Basically because it just felt like it was just a bit... It was just sucking time. It was just sucking time. And you add up the amount of runs and it's going, okay, well, I've got to remember each and every day. And we go back to setting alarms in order to do it. And it feels then too much of a daily grind. So uh, that's the issue, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's the problem as well. Very interesting, um, but very interesting as well that somebody, you know, people are still doing it. This month's side quest was boring and repetitive for sure, but saving all the keys to do uh, one go at the last moment was not wise. Um, yeah, I mean, I get, but the thing is, it happens. Like people going like, um, "Oh, you shouldn't do it." Well, it happened. Well, the same thing with me. Like it, it just happened. Like I did not realize. Um, number one, I didn't realize I wasn't doing it, and there's other stuff to do in game. Like is what it is uh i still have 10 runs to do going to try and get them done in the next two days but can only do so many at a time without wanting to cry uh, i think i did like six runs could never find a three-man team that i liked and i could run all five fights easy so i said f it and that's an interesting take isn't it like this is down to your own type of um you know feeling around it and if that's that's something for, for somebody then that's that's important like if you can't find the right three, and I think I've, I've I, I don't think I think I have man managed to narrow it down. My particular team that I've been using um, in the last two runs was Doctor Doom, Wiccan, and Archangel. And even then, I'm kind of like I keep switching them out for different ones. Going like, do I did I actually enjoy this? Was this efficient? Did this work? And I, I guess it's the problem when you're kind of like second guessing yourself. It becomes a bit of an issue, isn't it? Um, yeah. And that's the thing as well. This is a this is a fair point um, from um, uh, Jeff saying, don't have that much time. Slash, I'm not in the mood to play that much most of the week. Usually play on the weekend. So depending on the side quest, I can do it having fun during that time. But I already did like six runs in a row a couple of times, and it was enough. I need those resources, but I'd rather farm on arenas on weekends and spend the units on offers. 
that's fair play. I mean, look, I'm I'm in the same boat. Probably not for the last couple of lines, um, but I'm very much a case of like limited time. I'm very much agreeing with um, you know limited with limited time um, with it. Um, but yeah, like um, as as Panzerus again. This side quest was a real lesson of the benefit to doing it uh, spaced out throughout the month. The trouble is that so many of us did the first few to unlock Gladiator and Tier 9. So basically what Panther is uh, is doing is, is pointing out an issue with Kabam. Like, you know, the way that Kabam structured the quest. Ran them on repeat because we could to get all the milestones for the objectives. Then stop because we burnt ourselves out. Then we revisit it later in the month and realize, oh no, I've got uh, X amount of runs. These things need to use them. We then either run through them, which uh, became very boring and repetitive, or deciding to flag it. In my opinion, a lesson for the future iterations of this kind of event spaced out. Do it at two to three a day and then leave it or so. Just keep it uh, taking over. Well, the thing is, you've just pointed out an issue with the structure of the event from Kabam. That's the thing. It's like, that, that's what you just said. You just said that um, the way it was structured. So this will have to go back to Kabam as a, well, look, for in future when we're doing these types of side quests, encouraging people to, as you even put, do it in a certain way that Kabam dictate with the objectives leads to a burnout of the event or kind of feeling of completion with the event. So, I mean, it's a very good point to, to, to go back to Kabam. If we had different fights each time you ran it, it would be horrendous for those um, who have to meticulously plan um, a team. Yada yada, it goes on. Uh, but once I reassessed and revamped my team, I was running with no revives uh, easily. I mean, it is what it is, but as I said, like, it's, yeah. Um, uh, I I didn't want to do uh, had I didn't want to but I had to it's like Kabam uh, spirit lured me and not something I deserve, deserved but uh, something I needed uh, it was awful but not as bad as Brutal DLX's challenge I actually prefer Brutal DLX's challenge versus versus this weird that isn't it it's weird when you, when you think of that. Some other thought, thoughts here. Only two left. It was tedious. I only did ones up to Cap's objective. Saw the rest and saw I was basically only Relic Reward and decided to pass, pass on it. Uh, no way. Rewards were terrible. I just did enough for major rewards. Yeah, I guess that's the thing. As I said, for me, I will likely do it. I will con you know, continue to do it. I, Yeah. Well, that's that, that's really it uh but i would say this is a bit of an eye-opener um that as panzer says like the kabam need to have a look at the way they're structuring it so that you don't burn out too soon with that uh, with this but thoughts in the comment section did you like this uh, side quest is it tolerable would you do it again uh, do you think that um the objective burnout right in the beginning and then going well i don't need to do any more was it was that you done done for thoughts in the comment section Check out some other content as well located on screen and I'll see you all very soon. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.